they're coming. Oh my gosh, the thrill. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another game show, little game show. We are so, so very excited for today's episode of the little game show oh, oh, oh so fancy we have a platform dedicated to getting weird with incredible artists and getting them to do funny ridiculous things today is particularly exciting because we have the rainbow girls and john craigie hello <laughs> <laughs> And ball pit. All right. And ball pit. So, <laughs> the way that these games work before we introduce the artists is we have three rounds coming plus a talent show. It's going to need some serious artist participation. So, feel free to share the link. And we've got a donation link to like and support the artists if you can't financially support. Likes, follows, shares make a huge difference for everyone. So, introducing our crew for today, John Craigie, we like to ask you who you are, what you do, and whatever way you would like to answer. And then our fun question of today is, if an animal, or if all animals could talk, which animal do you think would be the rudest? Uh, okay, my name is John Craigie. I have to say what I do. Whatever way you want to say it. Um, I uh, wake up very late these days because I don't know. <laughs> I have no reason to not wake up late. <laughs> and um, I daydream a lot. And the animal that would be the rudest. Correct. Uh, what comes to mind? Probably like a possum or uh, a rat. I feel like they would be rude just because they have a hard life, it seems like. So they'd be angry. Wow, that's beautifully understanding and real. Yeah, what do you think? Um, oh, wow, I don't know. I've never had the question turned back on myself. I think I think I would agree. I think a possum would be kind of, like not rude in a, in a coming from like an actual mean place, but from a place of hurt. I would agree with you. Yeah. I'm glad, represent. All right, and then rainbows, same question. Who are you and what animal do you think would be the rudest? We are hey, rainbow, rainbow girls. girls. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Um, we shoot the shit. Sounds like we would think all animals are rude based off of our deliberations. Yeah. <laughs> uh, peacock. Because they think they're so great. They're so cool. I think I thought also peacock. rhinos might be rude. Um, Mis misunderstood. Maybe misunderstood, but I think possums would just be so nice. Everybody's so mean to them, so they'd just be like, Wee. I think hummingbirds and bees who just like swarm Yay. at you, fly at you. Yeah, those, blue jays. Those, yeah. Blue jays are rude to my cat. Oh, my cat's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did the blue jays kill your cat? Too, too soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from their rudeness. Oh, no. All right. Well, I think that's a good time <laughs> to, the, uh, to the first round. So, audience. The way we do this is we send our artists a series of options to choose from. They potentially suggest if they want any sort of rounds. The round we have decided to kick things off with today is <laughs> the newlywed game. Hey. hey. All right. So. The way that the newlywed game is going to work in this context, for those who have not seen, this is a game in which we test your knowledge of each other. So because as you can tell, this is clearly the most uneven matched game, not Craigie, not that I'm saying anything about you, no, not the three wonderful women. But, <laughs> The way that this is going to work is you're going to test your knowledge of each other. So we are going to ask like us and Craigie? It's the three of you versus Craigie. So the three of you are going to test your knowledge of Craigie, and Craigie is going to test his knowledge of the three of you. Oh, shit. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
So how it works is I ask a question and then in terms of the three versus Craigie, you're all gonna give your answer of what you think Craigie would answer. Then Craigie, Craigie will come back into the room and answer the answers himself. If you, leave. you do have to leave, or you could just mute this. If okay. you correctly match with Craigie, our scorekeeper, Vanna White over here, who you can't really see because the background is so effective. If I just, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> We'll be keeping score. So you get a point for that and vice versa, Craigie, we will ask the rainbows to mute us or leave. And then you answer a question about each one. If you match, you get points. The points mean a lot, but are really randomly assigned and given. So audience, if at any point you feel really passionate about something that someone did or have any suggestions for questions that we should be asking, we will grant points. We will take your suggestions. This is all audience participation. And uh, the today's prizes are second place gets the classic pat on the back. Gets a, oh, I, I, we got a sponsorship from JetBlue to fly anywhere in the world on a canceled trip. So sorry, it's been canceled. <laughs> The thrill, the thrill, I know, dream big. So we're going to start with uh, Craigie. You're gonna answer questions about the rainbows. So rainbows, yeah. mute us. Now. We'll begin the round. So Craigie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that they're visually muted. The answer is seven. Always seven. Craigie, we're uh, no, it's not seven, says Aaron. How did I mute you? You yeah, just I literally hit the mute button on your computer. That's like the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, back to what we were doing. Craigie? Yeah. You've been spotlighted. Here come the questions. I'm gonna ask you a question about each one of them. Okay. So the first one is a question about Caitlin. Okay. If Caitlin could have the teeth of any animal, and I'm saying like replace her actual teeth with the teeth of another animal, not just like own animal teeth, what teeth do you think Caitlin would replace her teeth with? Wow. Um, that's a very good question. Let's see. Maybe uh, a bear. Any reason you're just feeling bare? That's just what came to my mind. Yeah, I don't know. I was gonna say rabbit, but I feel like she probably wouldn't say that because it's not flattering. Even though I think she has good rabbit energy in a good way. True, and bear's teeth, like of all the animals, they definitely have the most attractive teeth. They got good teeth. Yeah, that's so true. All right, so that is our answer for Caitlin. Vanessa's question comes next. What do you think is the strangest thing Vanessa has done so far to combat boredom during shelter in place? uh shoot um i saw something on, on instagram where she was building something <laughs> but i've seen so many people building something on instagram uh, i'll say uh like re um arranged her room rearranged her room is your answer to the weirdest thing she's done to combat boredom yeah all right all right it is very strange i would agree as someone who maybe rearranged her room twice in my entire life. Yeah. The final question is about Aaron. Okay. The question is, which part of Aaron's body do you think she would make detachable? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, what part would she make detachable? I know these questions are pretty, they cut to the core really, really quick. I, I like it. Um, I would think that she would make her uh, ears detachable because then she could put them in like cool places and hear interesting sounds. Um, Ooh, that's nice. Here also, I think Caitlin wants us to show something. All right, that's what they're doing in the other room to stay entertained. I'm so glad, so glad. She's in the ball pit. Okay, cool. Okay. So we have all of the answers in Rainbows Unmute. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, are we okay. supposed to be here now? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do we get back to gallery view? I don't like this. this, this like that. Uh, do I mute now? Does yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You're going to hear the answers now. Oh, cool. Okay. So we're going to see if they line up. So each of you, Craigie has answered what he thinks the correct answer you would have given to this question is. <laughs> and each question is specifically about one person. So, Caitlin, you're just going to answer this question how you would normally answer it. And if it matches with Craigie, Craigie gets how many points, Vanna White? 400. 400. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Here comes the question. Caitlin, if you could have the teeth of any animal, not like own a pair of random teeth, but like your teeth are replaced with an animal's teeth, what animal's teeth would you replace your teeth with? Would they fit in my mouth? I know this answer for John Craigie. This is so unfortunate. <laughs> would, would they fit in my mouth or would I be like weird, huge mouth and normal size head? Whichever answer you would like to give. Just don't think about it. Just what would they do? Wolf. Ooh. Wolf. Wolf, so close. But Craigie definitely said bear. Wow. <laughs> but he also said you have very flattering rabbit energy. Unrelated. <laughs> but I didn't want to say you, you would choose rabbit teeth because no one's going to choose that. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> flattering. <laughs> no question. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> that's good all right so the next question is about vanessa vanessa what is the strangest thing you have done so far to combat combat boredom during this shelter in place is anything strange yeah i wonder it's also stopped is anything strange and i don't know good question yeah, this is hard. I don't know how you would answer this. I don't even know how I would answer it. That's some very strange answers, but this isn't about me. <laughs> um, hacked roots with an axe? <laughs> wow, that's super effing badass. Yeah. Greg said, rearranged your room. That's just normal. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I have done that, so you should get some points. Yeah, I saw you do that. Yeah. Dina uh, literally wrote down some points. Oh, good. <laughs> Not a number, but you got some points. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> can I change my answer? <laughs> you can't change it to Craig's answer, but you can certainly. It's a vampire. Is that an animal? An animal, a vampire. <laughs> oh, yep. so you won't have rabbit teeth, but you'll have two sharp ones. Yeah. All the better to suck your blood. All the better to suck your blood. <laughs> All right, let's cut the sexual tension and move on to the next question, which is, Aaron, which part of your body would you make detachable? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I was very kind with this one. <laughs> very kind. Um, I wonder. I have a couple. Yeah, thoughts. a couple answers going through my head. I think. Yeah, I mean that's already a thing. <laughs> my penis is already detachable. Fun um, for you all. Uh, when it's detached, do you see my innards, or is it just uh, like it's a, just fun? It's just fun. I'm not actually sure what part you would detach that would have that result. I think my scalp, so I could wear any wig without having to put my hair out. <laughs> Damn. What? If you detached your scalp, would your hair come with it? Or you would just like... Yeah. Like my hair. I could just take my what? hair off. Like the old fashioned Barbie dolls. And then just like put on different wigs. You knew that, didn't you, Craigie? Or did you, Craigie? <laughs> Craigie said legs. Craigie said ears. So she could put it in fun places and listen to fun things. Oh. Also, because you're really sensitive and, and sometimes you're like nervous about the sound. So you could like put them in a box. Oh, and not but like anything. when I need to go to sleep instead of wearing earplugs, I could just oh, yeah. take your ears off or take your eyes out. No, I already know. <laughs> yeah, because everybody knows the main source of audio import is your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was really, really good. Based on our scores, rainbows are in the lead with some points. <laughs> Craigie's in the lead with some points. I lied. All right. Okay, now, now I mute. 
Yes. All I gotta do is push your mute button. Okay. We've learned things on this show. Yes. Yes. I think we can still hear it. He's, he's, he can still okay. hear us. Okay. All right. So now the way that this is going to work is <laughs> I'm going to ask you each individually a question about Craigie, and you each are going to give an individual answer without the help of the other two. Oh, that's what? Hard. Okay, fine. Oh, this isn't about teamwork. Well, it's about individual skill, but the joint score, right? That's really what we all work for. We can communicate without we'll speech. We'll play by your rules. That's true. You could communicate without speech if you... Actually, I believe 100% that you have some sort of secret language that you can do that. So, Vanessa, we're starting with you. Okay, ready. What color... Do you think Craigie's favorite tight pants are? <laughs> I think one of two things. Can I say two? Yes. I think blue, black, <laughs> bluey black, blacky blue. Okay, bluey black we have an answer for. With flowers on them. With flowers on them. Wow, these pants are becoming what? so detailed. Oh, something. you're getting a new message. Blue, blacky, dark with embroidered pretty flowers on it. <laughs> wow, you really have quite the, the incredible method of telecommunication right there with that leg tapping. <laughs> I told right. you. Caitlin. Yes. What do you think Craigie's favorite smell is? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can say. Yeah, can I say pussy? Yes, we can. Uh, I don't right. know. To... Hold on, let me think. You could that. say, you could say. <laughs> I just want you to. I agree. You could well, say. Uh, Aaron, you've gotten a lot less subtle with your cheating. Just going to put that one out there. <laughs> Taylor, I got your phone. <laughs> I think, and only I think, and no one else thinks. The answer. What's the answer? Pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my. With yeah, you should say pussy. pussy. But but wait. With a little. Craigie, stop reading our lips. Pregnant pussy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If if Craigie says that out loud, I'm gonna make sure I'm recording it and use it as my ringtone. So, last but not least. If <laughs> What okay. is okay. Okay. tangible thing? This is a cure. I'm very curious about this because Craigie seems like a very nice, giving guy. But what is one tangible thing that you don't think Craigie would share with anyone? Oh, fuck. I want the opposite Craig's answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> well, he shares so many things. He shares Hold on. Things. He, well, no, he doesn't. Almost. Yeah. Um, no. Hold on, no. His empty water bottle in his van. Because that's what he pees in at festivals. Oh! <laughs> oh so much information revealed! Right. That? That's great. That's a great answer. All right. Let's all okay. you, Craigie back. Or pregnant pussy. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, well, that'll be the option for all of the answers. Welcome home! <laughs> You're okay. on. All right. We love you. Here we go. So each of these, each of these questions, one of them answered. So okay. you now you're just going to answer them just for yourself, casual. Do you get to tell me which one answered it? Yeah. So Vanessa's question was, "What color are your favorite tight pants?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably blue, because I most of them are blue. We'll take it. <laughs> Dark, black. I said blue, blacky, um, embroidered floral pants. Yeah, those are dope. Okay, she gets them. Four hundred points. Four hundred right. points. <laughs> Four hundred Gryffindor. <laughs> Caitlin's question was, "What is your favorite smell?" Ooh. <laughs> we know what he thought. You don't have to be as vulgar as you'd like. They certainly. You thought the liberations uh, was she was she very like uh uh i'll i won't say the actual thing and i'm gonna say 
cookies. <laughs> is cookies the That's not say the actual thing. For... What? What do you think? Uh boobs. Oh. Okay. Private smell. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, but the answer that they gave was, Kaylin, would you care to? Pregnant pussy. <laughs> Very kind, good. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Who knows if that's the correct answer? We'll never know. We'll never know. Though we do have <laughs> boobs. So. Love you. Love you. Someone's calling us? in your heart. Aaron's question was. Someone's calling us. Oh, okay. We're, we're, okay we're done. Do you mind? We're hosting a professional game show here. <laughs> anyway, moving on from pregnant pussy talk, we're going to go on to Aaron's question, which was What is one tangible thing that you would refuse to share with anyone? Uh, like, oh, like a physical item? Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, that's so hard. Um, that I would refuse to share with anyone? Correct. Well, probably uh, my blueberries backstage. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding, but that's my answer. I, of course, I would share those, but. <laughs> that's not an answer, because you would yeah, share them. What's something you, you actually them? wouldn't share? Because that's what I actually answered. I don't, think, I don't think there's anything I wouldn't share. One thing about it, that maybe you would share with Nico, but no one else. Nico? <laughs> think about it, Craigie. Clearly, though you may think you gave your right answer, you're wrong. Well, yeah. I mean, she's right. I'm, that was That's my cute answer. Just like cookies was my cute answer. And we all see how that went. <laughs> Bad. Blue blackie flowery jeans. <laughs> But honestly, I really can't think of something that I wouldn't share uh, at all. Um, Aaron, would you care to enlighten Craigie what his answer should be? Yeah, maybe you would share this and that would just be a concern, especially now during the coronavirus. But um, the, uh, I don't know, um, uh, your plastic empty water bottle you keep in your van at festivals. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. She's right. Give her the points. That's Give correct. Her the points. She's Give correct. Her. That's correct. Incredible. Incredible. Thus I would never share that. I mean, if someone needed it, I would share it with them, but I can't really understand a scenario where that would happen. Yeah. Yeah. I speed desperately in need at festivals. Go to Craigie. The good. final score of our newlyweds round is Craigie has is in second place with some points, and Rainbows are in first place with 500 plus less points. Good job, Anna White. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. <laughs> Woo! First place! All right, and thus concludes our classic game round. The next round, our speed round, is a little game we like to call Pitch Storm. Wait, horrible, amazing movie, movie ideas. ideas. You all look very confused. That's what I like. <laughs> the way that this game is going to work, you'll notice that there's a theme going on with these games, which is really kind of the three rainbows doing stuff against each other and Craigie witnessing. So. That's where we're continuing on with this game. Pitch Storm works a little something like this. There is one director and three people who are here to pitch a new hit movie. Craigie is the director and each of you are here to try and convince Craigie that your movie is the next hit. So, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? What? Are you going to score I thought we were on the same team. You're on the same team. You'll still get points. <laughs> right now, you get points for pointing that out, right, Vanna? Nailed it. You just got 100 points. See? <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, what about this? Ew. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, Anna likes 
six. Sure, you get another 100 points. Well done. <laughs> Creativity is key. So basically, what will happen is I will give you a plot and a character. And these are based on the actual pitch, pitch storm game. And you will have roughly 45 seconds to pitch this new film. The plot and the characters are totally unrelated and anybody watching can absolutely comment with a new plot idea or a new character idea. That includes y'all out in alt space because I don't know if any of you know this, but we are also streaming to a virtual reality platform that people are watching. And I Is have- there a way to comment? Yeah. Rad. No. So the, for example, the character may perhaps be a dog that can talk. And the plot would be a mastermind heist to steal the Queen of England's butt plug. So I would need to pitch a film that has that main character and that plot. Here's the catch. Craigie, as the director, can stop your pitch and say, oh yeah, that's good, but actually, you know what's hot right now? Musicals. And then you have to incorporate his advice and keep trying to pitch your film. So Craigie, you get to improvise random things that you think would make the movie a little bit spicier, a little bit catchier, you know what I mean? And you can do yeah. this up to three times during their 45 second pitch. Cool. Does this all make sense? Yeah. Roughly, we can do like a little example here, Vanna. So if I had 45 seconds to pitch this film about a dog that has a mastermind of plot to- Good time for this. So. There you go, there you go. So, oh, but are you really here? <laughs> so I would say we would start the 45 second timer and then I would say, all right, so here's the thing. You know what's really hot right now? Spot. Spot is all over the internet. Spot, but not just any dog. This is a dog that can talk. And you know what dogs can talk and do? They can steal stuff from the queen, but jewels are totally out. What's in? Butt plot. Actually, uh, what's in is um, space. Can you set this in space? Space, absolutely. So Spot is a dog, not only can talk, but he can breathe in space. And once the queen had a really strange sexual experience and her anal plug shot into space. Great. So it's actually lost Great. in space. Okay? I love this, it's getting better. All right. <laughs> this game is for you only. Yeah. <laughs> can you just pitch to Craig? Yeah, yeah, can you we, pitch to us? Can, actually, I'm, let's change this out. Where's my mic? That. Where's my mic? Okay. <laughs> so actually, actually, we're going to change this up. We're going to put it on put it on its head. And Liliana, we're going to make up the plot and the character, and you're going to pitch it to Craigie. How do you feel about that? <laughs> okay, but then here's the, here's the spin. At, afterwards... You all have to, actually, you have to agree to my next potential ploy, no matter what it is. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Okay, great. Okay, well, I'll pitch one and then y'all pitch one. And you can pitch as a trio. So what's the one that you want me to pitch to Craigie? This is wildly unexpected. I'm being taken over. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> I, just, I don't understand what we're... We're, we're, we're not giving pitching her, to her a she's character and a instead. plot. We have to give you a plot and a character. Yeah, you just took over the show. This is... Are you... Yeah. Okay, you're mm -hmm. pitching... What? A gang of pregnant thieves. <laughs> <laughs> He's sold. <laughs> In virtual reality? A gang, yeah, a gang of VR pregnant thieves. Okay. All of the Trump's... Um. <laughs> Wait, you, we missed the last thing you said. Trump's what? Wigs. Wigs. Trump's wigs. <laughs> yes. Hold on, let me make sure I got this right. So this is a, a, a band of VR pregnant women who are trying to steal all of Trump's wigs. Said pregnant thieves. Yeah, just pregnant yeah, thieves. thieves. Pregnant thieves, okay. They're not just regular women. You're right, they're pregnant thieves trying to steal all of Trump's wigs. Okay, and Craigie, you understand that at any time throughout my pitch, up to three times, you can interrupt me and tell me to change it so it's a little spicier, a little hipper. Five, yeah, sure. four, three, two, one. All right, Craigie, so here's the thing. You know what's in? I'm done with not pregnant women. That's out. Pregnant women, but what's better than that? Pregnant thieves. Forget their gender, that doesn't matter. Gender's out. So pregnant thieves, but 
this is Corona time. So we can't have them be in person. They have to be VR thieves. So they're probably like World of Warcraft pregnant dwarves. Their bellies are like six times their actual body size. And they have to stuff. Go quicker, come on, what more do we need? Okay, I'm gonna, do I interrupt now? Yes. You know what seems really hot right now is like remakes. So can you tie this with like an older movie, like an older classic, you know? Um, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you're so smart. This is why you're the boss. Yeah. Um, what that old film, Blade Runner, Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves Blade Runner. Blade Runner would translate perfectly into virtual reality. Pregnant women, they don't fight with blades. Oh, sorry, thieves. They fight with their bellies. They just like attack each other with these bellies and the babies are indestructible because they're actually robots. So don't worry, no babies were actually harmed in the filming of this movie. And is there anything else you want me to change or you feel good about this? Yeah, um, you know that Chris Pratt, he seems really popular right now. Can we work him into that? Absolutely, Chris Pratt is the baby. I was actually about to get to that. I hadn't gotten there yet. So Chris Pratt at a certain point, the, the in a non-painful way, Chris Pratt, emerges from the womb and then steals all the wigs and that's the way that life should be i didn't see it bumble <laughs> i wasn't prepared for the ending that's good only when chris pratt comes out is when it should have ended but all right <laughs> i would definitely today. see that as long as you started it i will i will all right so that um that's my film so now it's my turn Unless we have any recommendations from people in the audience or from Altspace of plots and characters. Question. Yes. Um, can we see the comments somehow? Yeah, if you go onto Facebook, oh. you'll see it on the uh, live stream. So you can um, hang out with each other. Accent. Oh, she's got it right here. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. People want to know what's going on with the ball pit. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll know soon enough. All right. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, nice. Someone got a thousand points for no reason, but we're figuring out who and why. So the, let's see, the category, the, uh, the, um, the main character that we want for your plot is, we actually have two main characters. We have, we have the world's horniest pizza boy and his co-assistant, a terrible, terrible goose. Just like terrible really disrespectful that's the rudest animal yeah goose, oh, goose. Duh. <laughs> really goose that one huh? yeah. all right so that is the that those are your two main characters the plot is that they both are on a quest for the holy grail That's it. <laughs> right. So we have this teen, his first job, he's a pizza boy. He's very horny, but he has his sidekick, a goose. I'm thinking this is going to be an animated uh, feature, mm -hmm. um, so you can really get out there. I was thinking- The same going team to... that did Coco, that CGI mm -hmm. was really good. Yeah, and it's all about their quest. They're trying to find the Holy Grail, you know, classic- And he's a and virgin. He is a virgin. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, what is sex, really? He's a virgin. He's never touched another human. So they never touched him, but he's he maybe has soaked- <laughs> Yeah, he soaks from time to time and he in has the pizza. Oh. Or, or his friend, the goose. <laughs> That's right. the idea. Let's, uh, let's hear your input. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, can we somehow make this, like, at sea? I think sea movies are doing really well right now. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. He can deliver to pizza by boat. boat. Or he can ride the goose, because the goose can swim. And he he, he only the... rides in a small rowboat. Mm. It's it's sort of like Adventure Time where Jake can form into anything. That's right. how the goose like is. The goose is like and if you're going to look for the Holy Grail, we all know where that is. And it's across the sea. On the pizza. <laughs> it turns out the Holy Grail was on the pizza the whole the time. time. Hey. Cool. Um, yeah, people like, uh, you know, like, uh, have a good soundtrack. Who's doing the soundtrack to this? John Craigie, my favorite artist. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> also, Tony Elfman. Right. Give me the name of two songs. I am pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the hit single, Grammy, Oscar nominated, I am pizza, sang by John egg. Legend. And go, search for the golden egg. Also, yeah. I'm a virgin, but I'm still okay. That, <laughs> the B -side. I actually wrote that song in high school, actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm out.
Mic drop. No. <laughs> Butt shop. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, Have you completed your film? That's great. Are you buying it? So yeah. Yay. When are we gonna start casting? I mean, we already have. Right here, all of us. Actually, that leads me into the next game that you promised you would play. So Craigie slash audience, which of those two films are you more likely to see slash Craigie, would you want to put money and your professional resources behind? Uh, I think the first one seemed nice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> me? The yes! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that okay? Sorry, I don't mean to, I wasn't trying to pick favorites. I just. <gasps> no, please, please, I'm lonely. <laughs> okay, so this means you have that to act we're out. going to the improv section of this game which will incorporate the ball pit. So I don't know if any of you have seen Whose Line Is It Anyway, but how this is gonna work is that the three of you are going to act out the cli most climactic scene in this pregnant VR thieves stealing Trump's wigs. And you'll have roughly a minute or two to act out your scene. So you can grab any props you need. And Craigie, you will be Stopping the scene at about a minute and a half or so, and then doing exactly what you just did as a director. You're gonna say, oh, that was really good, but like, let's see it as a Western. Let's see it like really, really fast, really speed. We don't really have time to see it in slow motion like this or entirely in slow motion. Yeah. Does this make sense? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. You've got it, you've got it. Also, I just wanna really quickly say thank you so much. Who is the beautiful human who gave me a thousand points? Thanks, Sean Samson, for all the points. Oh, John Craigie, somebody really loves you. Oh, tell them thank you. Craigie says thank you. <laughs> Y'all, while the rainbows are getting prepared for this scene, they're really, they're, they're jumping in. I just want to say again that we have a donation link. It's technically my PayPal and Venmo, but I'm gonna be splitting it with the other two artists. So all supports make a really big difference, especially now with all of the show cancellations and everything like that. So thank you everybody who has so supported so far and all the likes and follows and shares of these artists. So, so much appreciation and, and uh, makes a really big difference. So thank you all. And rainbows, are you ready? Almost. Almost ready. All right, Craigie, is there anything you wanna say to, uh, to the fans who are about to see your film? Um, I think just, uh, you know, go, go easy with it, give it a shot. It, um, it had a lot of trouble in, in pre-production, um, but I think uh, we did the best we could with the budget we had, so. All right, Rainbows, you ready? I'm gonna take that, are you in the ball pit or are you on the couch? <laughs> They're pretty close to the ball pit. Get in the pit! Get in the pit! <laughs> All right, Rainbows, are you ready? Can you hear us out there? Yeah. Audiences are raging for this new hot film, which is called, obviously, Craigie, sorry, what was the name of the film? Oh, uh, good question. Um, I think if I can think of a funny pun. Uh, hmm. Uh, pregnant pause, and it's oh, P-A-W-S. Oh, paws, like yeah. dogs, like, 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 I'm sorry, like goose paws. I guess so, but that's the other movie. We got some problems. Okay, cool. All right. All right. So, rainbows, are you ready? There's really, you got to get your cast together. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, what is happening? <laughs> I don't know how close I can get. Did you unmute the... <laughs> oh, they can't hear it. We're muted. Okay, we're okay. muted too. Please continue. <clears throat> so, uh, the scientists have been saying, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but uh, I can tell you that uh, 
we could maybe inject some of this disinfectant and <laughs> nice that was nice the ball pits made it a little hard to see craigie is there a is there a change that you think that they should do to make this film a little more successful yeah maybe just one more scene over on the couch so we can really see everybody um that was the climax yeah we can't should it be like final scene yeah final scene the closing scene I love it, so. I just got lie in my arms. <laughs> where's the wick yeah. we need it yeah. Baby. Oh, wow. Baby. Yeah. Wait, we're gonna have to fire extinguish. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's behind the scenes action right here. Final scene. Hush, baby. You don't need that hat. <laughs> Drink the mother's milk. Wait, let me put this wig on you, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm the mother's milk. Someday you'll grow up to be a big thief like me. I might yeah. be big, Mom. I might be big. My sweet, sweet. And oh, scene. No, you were too fat. Okay. Very good. Very good. Wonderful. Wow. I have to say, the costumes, I was not expecting that. Oscar nominated. Clearly. Oh, I cried. I sweat. <laughs> And for those who are wondering where the ball pit was for, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, so audience, you get to determine how many points Rainbows and Craigie get for that marvelous performance. And Alt Space, please feel free to send us your points as well. This is a very subjective objectivity happening right now. Coming in, it's coming in. It looks like we got some pretty good scores coming in. So while the scores are coming in, oh, we have a very important question. Is that a picture of Chuck Norris behind you, Craigie? Yes. Yes, it is. Field delivered. There we go. The hard hitting questions answered on this show. So we are now going into our non points section, but it is the talent show so this is an opportunity for artists to showcase their talents in whatever way they want to whether they perform songs or rap or dance so we'll also be linking the artists profiles and everything so you can follow them and see what they do craigie i believe you are going to be kicking off our talent show section this time yeah, well, I was thinking about it, and I thought I might do a little harken back to grade school show and tell. I think that might be fun. So my talent show is going to be a new talent of mine that I've discovered here in quarantine, and it is, wait for it, uh, pickling. So I wanted to share some of the things I've been pickling. This is um, some Kirby's that are uh, in a brine that I have created. If you get close in there, you'll see there's some chopped garlic, mustard seed, and black peppercorns. Um, now you might be asking me, John, do I always have to use vinegar? The answer is no. This is, uh, what we call a non-vinegar pickle recipe. Oh. And, and this is, uh, <laughs> uh, fermenting as we speak. And then on the other side, I've got two sauerkrauts that are in the works. We've got the, um, purple and the green. And, uh, these have been fun. Every morning I burp these, which means I open them up, let them breathe and smush them down and man, do they stink. But uh, the housemates don't mind because they know it's gonna be tasty in about a week and a half. So uh, these are my crafts. Yeah, thanks. Is there any way that people can purchase your kraut? <laughs> uh, it's not for sale yet, but if they want one custom made, talk to me, send me an uh, uh, Instagram or Facebook message, we'll talk. Wow, <laughs> you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, first. All right, and that, oh wait, Craigie's doing a little dance, part of the talent. Yeah, that's okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. <clears throat> Thus concludes John Craigie. You thought you knew him? You thought it was the songs? Truly, it's the crowd. Yes. Yeah. Pickling at the heart. All right. That's a tough, uh, tough act to follow, Rainbows. Well, I got something. <laughs> okay. I had something else. <laughs> but if you didn't know, now you will know that I can uh, do a decent clover thing with my tongue whilst wrinkling my nose. No. Let me see. You don't think so? I don't believe it. <laughs> we done! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> so. Wait, lower your face. We can't see your nose. <laughs> hey, that's what he said. Hey, yeah. yeah, that's like twice as many points as anyone's gotten this whole time. Pickles. Yeah. <laughs> Who that? Huh? Huh? Oh, is that that's all of the talent? No, I got yeah, one. I did it while wrinkling my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, truly. All right, Aaron, let's see what you got. I can name the first 20 elements of the periodic table. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, argon, calcium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, potassium, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, phosphorus, silicone, sulfur, chlorine. Yeah. Thank you. That got me nowhere in life but here. <laughs> Is that just something that you did for fun, or is that something that you've retained from your? Also, name the state's smallest to biggest. She just does those kinds. I of didn't things. realize that I could do that until we were driving through Rhode Island, and I was like, Rhode Island must be the smallest state. And then I thought about it, and I was like, Oh, or this one, or these. And then it was like eight o'clock in the morning. I don't know why we were still driving, but then Caitlin <laughs> pulled out a list of all of the states in order of size, and I could name them all in chunks all of right, like five, oh. all the way up. Um, it's weird. Kaylin's getting her talent. Wow. Yeah, I also can tell you what we were doing on any given day oh, in the last 10 years. It's weird and really fucked up. Oh, really? Can I tell you a date and you'll do it? Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, what about June 5th, 2018? Two years ago. June? Don't look at me. Um, June no, that's, that's, that's harder. They're, the more recent ones are harder. Because I, I saw the whole thing. Yeah, uh, we played, oh, we played Redwood Mountain Fair on, Big Stick was June 1st and June 2nd, and Redwood Mountain Fair was the 3rd, and so we were home, and it was Tuesday? <laughs> Is this true? Was June 5th a Tuesday? We're checking right now. <laughs> what, 2018, June 5th. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that Caitlin's talent was taking place in the ball pit. Though, Caitlin, I have to tell you, the ball pit makes it a little difficult to see anything you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, also. He's juggling! Oh God, so good. Kaylin, come juggle on the couch! <laughs> wow, look at that talent. Oh, and then she fell in the ball pit. Oh. Oh my God, it is a Tuesday. Weird. I was right. You were right. It absolutely was a Tuesday. Not to take away from Kaylin's talent, which is still happening. She's still juggling in the ball pit. Yeah, but nobody can see. <laughs> but you look good. You look good in heart. I want your eyebrows to actually be blue. That's true. It is a very good look. All right. So based on the scoring that's come through thus far, you can keep juggling if you'd like. She will. Yeah. <laughs> Old Space gave a lot of points at a lot of different times, but it seems as though points have been canceling out and adding. So we are currently at, Craigie, you have 420 points. All right, 420, yeah, baby. Rainbow, you have 420 points. Woo! Each. Each, correct, you're right. No. And Liliana, has 420. one scrillion points. Oh, that's so, Seems like you're eating. I don't know what I did, but I'm doing it good. All right, which leads us to our final game of the evening. Thank you both so much for your talents. That was truly remarkable. The final game is something we like to call make a jingle. Make a jingle. So, <laughs> 
the way that this works is we are going to describe a new hot product on the market. Then the audience will list a bunch of different names. So they come up with anything that they want. Vanna White is writing it down. Then we will present you with the different names and each of you can choose a name for your product. Then we will give you two minutes to come up with an infomercial and a jingle. An infomercial and a jingle? Correct. Okay. So after the round or after the jingle is presented, the audience will then vote on whichever product they are more likely to buy due to your beautiful jingle and infomercial. So <laughs> I will now present you with the hot new product that is coming out just just within the next few weeks, I believe. <clears throat> With COVID-19, safe sex has taken on a whole new meaning. But never fear, a new package product is coming out for the frisky, healthy, conscious, and socially responsible. It comes with a full body condom to prevent any actual skin-to-skin -skin contact and sanitizer lube. It is now COVID-19 free sexual or sexual exploration in the safety of your own condom suit. So that <laughs> is the product audience. Now come up with any name that you want. We'll have, be checking out. We have about a minute or two window for people to submit their recommendations, for what they think the product should be named. And while audiences are doing that, We'd like to take an opportunity for y'all to promote any sort of upcoming events that you have that people can check out and see you doing or performing. I know for a fact that Rainbows, you've got something. We're doing a launch of this product on Friday. Yeah. Friday at a <clears throat> 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, but if you want to find any of our upcoming shows, check out johncraggy.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tour dates there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what are you doing, lucky. Craigie? I want to hang out with you on the internet. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Send us some pictures. Uh, I think I'm going to do one in uh, next month, like probably, I have a new single coming out that features Rainbow Girls. It's called Don't Ask, and it's very exciting. That's going to drop on May uh, 10th, I think, so I'll probably do a, a stream right around then. Awesome. And the best way to see all of your streams is just to follow you all on Facebook and Instagram, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Marvelous. And we're posting all the stuff. Like the rainbow said, they have an event coming up this coming Friday. And we'll just go ahead and spotlight what Caitlin's got going on over here. Because I know. Facebook Live page. You look go like a man out. out. Rainbow Girls selling their new products this Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on their Facebook page. Incredible, incredible. Yeah. We have about 20 more seconds for suggestions. Alt Space, we're also getting your suggestions. People are coming up with some very, very creative names. Caitlin, thank you so much for the walkthrough of all the game shows in your replacing your eye holes entirely. I like uh, Corona Condom or the Craigie 19. <laughs> <laughs> Also, a cool thing, Caitlin, you also do all of the, this is like a spontaneous rant side note, but you also do all of the art for all of your events, right? Wow. Yes. Dude, shout out to that. Shout out to Caitlin's mad art skills. And if you ever need any posters or anything. Hey, thanks. Hey, yeah, you are so freaking rad. Your juggling is only truly matched by your artistic skills. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I will. I see this jingle and uh, uh, jingle list. Five, four, three, two, one. I just want to really quick do a quick round of applause as the for our Vanna White who is over here madly writing. <laughs> oh, what a hero! What a hero! Anyway, back to our fancy curtains. So, our Suggestion. So remember, you all get to choose the name, and that's what you're going to base your jingle and your writing on. And this is the product of a package, 
a condom suit and hand sanitizer lube in order for your safe, sexual, COVID-free experience. This all makes sense? All right. The suggestions are, we have a quarren, quarren trap. Yeah. We have the body wrap 19. Yes. We have the shelter and <laughs> are replacing the U. We have social frisk, frisking things. Okay. We have love tube squeeze. Oh no, love tube squeegee. <laughs> we have luxurious latex. We have the Craigie condom. Mm. We have the Corona condom. The Craigie 19 love machine. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one. <laughs> the Brahmi freak fractal. The birthday booty. And the frilly friends frights. Wow. Interesting. All right. I'm going to now put them on the screen so you all can choose which one you want. You have, I think. Five seconds, four, three, two. Depends on what Craigie's picking. One. All right, we'll start with you, Craigie. What are you picking? Uh, I, I couldn't see, but I thought I thought of my own. Can I do my own? <laughs> Maybe. Or is that bad? We can say yes. We can be the judges and we say yes. We yes. say yes. Extra points for picking your own. <laughs> sure. Done mainly. This is the the low rainbow show. So <laughs> I thought that maybe um it could be clever if it was like rubberware. You know, is that is that already a thing or like Tupperware but rubberware? Ooh, Craigie rubberware. <laughs> sure. All right, Craigie rubberware. And Ray, what did you choose? It wasn't on the list, so you have so many options. Well, um, we picked squeegee and or uh, love machine. The love tube machine. I squeegee. Yeah. You can match them. Can you read those aloud again? No, 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 no. It was a love tube, tube machine squeegee. There is the love tube squeegee and then the Craigie 19 love machine. I think love tube squeegee, so we don't pick favorites. Yeah. Love tube squeegee. Hard to all right. We will start the timer and you all have Two minutes to come up with a infomercial and a jingle to sell your product. Are you ready? Both of us and Craigie? Both of you are doing it at the same time. With each other? Nope, you're gonna be doing it just on your own. I'm gonna mute everybody. And then you're oh. going to be pitching both of your products with your jingle and competing for who has the catchier jingle, the, the, the more engaging pitch. Okay. All right. Got it. Three, two, one. I think in your jingle writing. All right. The musicians we have hired for today's jingle presentation are now on the way to begin your product making. This is a very exciting product for us. All the rage coming out very hip to the times, truly. And in this momentary, <laughs> thank you, Altspace, for COVID Daddy. That came in a little bit late, but I will now just be taking that title on myself. So I just wanna thank you all for tuning into COVID Daddy Game Show, the little COVID Daddy Game Show. So for those who have never joined in before, this happens every Tuesday at 5 p.m. with artists from all over the country. Today we had the Rainbow Girls and John Craigie who are now writing a jingle about a condom suit and sexy hand sanitizer or body lube sanitizer. So that's gonna be coming in the next few minutes. And we have a donation link that you send any money to artists, show any support, it makes a huge difference. Otherwise we have the Facebook and the Instagram of all the different artists and likes and follows and shares make a really big difference. So thank you everybody who has done that so far. Thank you everybody who watched, support. This is such a fun show for us to do and it's so much fun just to have an opportunity to hang out with our friends. Next Tuesday, we have our uh, Seattle version, which is our Cinco de Mayo game. And it's gonna be featuring Bear Axe from Seattle and Good Co from Seattle. So we're gonna be uh, playing some ridiculous games with them. And we have about 40 seconds left for our jingle writers, about 40 seconds left. So for those who are still unclear of what the product is, 
It is our safe sex COVID-19 edition. So it comes with a body condom to cover up your entire body. We don't want any of that dirty skin to skin, nasty contact. No, 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 no COVID here, but sexy times, yes. So the body skin suit will protect you. And to keep that extra moisture, we've got the sanitizer lube. Kills germs, but not sexy vibes. So the artists right now are coming up with a jingle. We have five seconds left, artists. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. All right. They are coming back in. They're coming back in. So. We will be starting with the artist who has more points. Our artist in the lead will be going first based on scores that came in during everything that was going on. Rainbows are now in the lead with 1,620 points. Don't worry, Craigie. This round is worth how many points, Sabina? 7,000. 7,000 points. <laughs> Holy right. crap. Wow. All right, which means Rainbow, your jingle is coming first. Oh wait, wait no, we have our infomercial. infomercial. Oh right, jingle infomercial, whatever, how, whichever version that you're doing. Oh, Vanessa, you are ready for this infomercial. So oh, <laughs> we're going live in five, four. This is for which product? The 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 love squeegee, love tube squeegee. Three, two, one. <laughs> Are you finding yourself sitting at home all alone, wishing you could go on dates, just longing for Tinder to reopen so you could swipe left, swipe right, fall in love? Really, you just want a booty call. Well, never fear. Now we got the Craigie 19 Love Squeegee. It's a full-size body condom, and it can fit uh, one size fits almost everybody. Hopefully, you can fit inside of this thing. And if you're lucky, you can find your booty call of the yeah. day and you can squeegee along left and right also it's a package deal it comes with a uh, disinfectant uh something or other Payments of fifteen ninety nine point a thousand. You too can be a proud owner of the package deal, a disinfectant lube and body condoms brought to you by baby? Love Squeegee Machines. Do you want breakfast, baby? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> was there a jingle in there, or was, have I jumped the gun too much? The commercial is still. Okay, one, two, three. Love, And scene, I believe. Wow, incredible, truly. That was our Love Squeegee infomercial and jingle brought to you by very talented Rainbow Girls. We have next, Craigie, this is the rubberware, correct? Yeah, yeah. Rubberware, you have your infomercial and jingle going live in five, four, three. I, I mostly just worked on the jingle, but I could do something cute like, um, it could be like, oh, hey, uh, like, uh, my name is John, and uh, maybe you're out there all alone and you're worried about when this all opens back up, how many people you're gonna sleep with. Probably a lot is what you're thinking, and that's great. But maybe you're thinking the normal condom just ain't gonna cut it. Well, you should try the new uh, condom called Rubberware, which covers your whole body. And don't take my word for it. Now, what do they normally say? They say something like, and I'm not just a spokesman, I'm also a user of it. And uh, when I'm not uh, fully encased in my rubberware condom, I play guitar. And uh, this is a song that I wrote three lines to. <laughs> it goes like this. Try the rubberware if you dare. 
If you care about your friends, that's the first line. If you want to get laid, but you're afraid, put it on from end to end. Um, the lube is poor at Purell. You won't go to hell, cause you'll be keeping everybody safe. Try the rubber wear, if you dare, because you care about your friends that you're going to sleep with when this is all over. That's it. We were harmonizing. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right, audience, you have your two products. Oh, a little foot disappeared. Right there. So, all you have to do is name the product that you are now more likely to purchase due to that incredible infomercial and jingle presentation. Remember, you are voting for the Love Tube Squeegee, which was presented to you by the Rainbows, and the Rubber wear, which was presented to you by John Craigie, who is not only a sponsor, but a proud user of rubber wear. So we have a minute of voting. So send in your votes now. Just write whichever one that you want to pitch. And while they're doing that, I just want to thank you all so much for being part of this show. This is so, so much fun. And it was so great to have you all and our good friend, Money Bags, over on the other screen. I'm so honored that he could make it. Thank you, sir. And again, please make sure to check out the live stream that Craigie's doing sometime next month and that Rainbows are doing on Friday at six. <laughs> Everyone picked rubberware. Yeah. You can't hear us, can you? Uh, we can hear you, but. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no, Aaron, no, don't don't devolve back. <laughs> I'm not devolving, I'm evolving. <laughs> oh. Well, you can right now you can say things to try and convince people that your product is still. I mean, we, Craigie's hasn't been tested. It was just a cute little song. Just because you had a good song doesn't mean you can have a good product. So really we spent a hundred million on that. We tested it on song. screen. Yeah, we have the product here. Where's your product, Craigie? I don't know. Can we pull the human size condom out, please? It's impervious. It never breaks. <laughs> it covers the whole body. You can please use it cover, now. Cover your mouth. Cover your mouth. <laughs> if that doesn't sell the product, I don't know what will. <laughs> All right, the polls have been closed. We are now tallying up the scores. Definitely rubber. Wow. Ooh, okay, all righty. So, <laughs> the, it was very, very close. I have to say, rainbows. You mean very like final pitch where you sprayed each other in the face with the whatever that was? You did manage to get one vote. So <laughs> hard work does pay off. And it was from Vanna White. So one clue that says or one a clue. <laughs> <laughs> if it was infomercial infomercial only, Rainbow Girls would have taken the cake. That's, I agree with that. I think we should have joined forces and you should have just written the jingle and we just write this. I think we should do it again. Yeah, I think we should do it again. That's the moral of the story, is that we are better. You know what? Yeah. Normally, I would now tell you that technically John won, but you're right. This is all about teamwork. Yeah! That's the message, kids. If you're watching, don't fight with each other. Join forces. But wear condom suits. Yeah, you should probably wear the condom suits. Woo, woo. Thank you all so much for joining us today on the game show. We'll <laughs> see you all next week and the rainbows on Friday and Craigie next month. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
dance about. There it is. Let's see those pickles, Craigie. Yeah, let's see those. <laughs> dance with your pickles, baby. You yes. Love love. Uh, Next line. I don't remember, remember 